Hi everyone, it's Amanda Jean here with another video and today I want to talk about my latest blog post, the things I felt before going into therapy. Now, before I get on with today's video, please note I'm not a professional doctor or therapist. If you feel like you do need support, please go see your doctor or GP for a referral. I am just sharing my experiences of what I felt on my mental health journey so that way others don't have to feel alone. Also, please be sure to check out my latest blog post and social media links down below. I love hearing from you guys and I love seeing you guys interact with me on social media. So also, please be sure to check those out. With that, let's get started. For me, before I checked into therapy, I had a lot of problems. I had a rash on my stomach, on my arm, and behind my ear. And at first I thought maybe it was an allergy or something, and I got several different types of creams and lotions to put those on to try to make it go away. However, nothing seemed to work. The more stressed I was, the worse it got. The worse it got, the more I wanted to scratch, which made it worse. On top of that, I had wide pain, wide spread body pain. My body just ached all over. I wasn't feeling very good. I was feeling down, depressed, sad, hopelessness. And there were some things that I knew were contributing to this. And that was the fact that my dog Noodles died earlier in the year in March. I had to put her to sleep due to seizures. And I'll link that blog post down below for you guys to read. And on top of that I had my first job, a temporary job, where things just were not going well at the time. I had lack of good public transportation. I was often late to work. I was getting um, warnings and things from my supervisor even though the transportation I had was out of my control. It was through the community and it's for people that have disabilities and are elderly and things like that. So I had no control over it. And the way that the bus system was set up with help of my caseworker because they were paying for it, I couldn't take any other means of transportation, taxi, and plus the um, regular bus that we have for the general population that the dis disability community can also use was too far away. So that contributed to a lot of stress and the fact that there was lack of accommodations at work for me. So I struggled a lot at work. So with everything going on, I was just down, sad, not feeling very good. Um, when it came to the widespread body pain, the only thing that worked to help a little bit was the fact that I could take a hot bath every, you know, take a hot bath. That seemed to help. But it made my rash worse. It would irritate it. So my family and friends just noticed I wasn't doing very well and just asked, hey, why don't you make an appointment with your GP, see about getting a referral for counseling. But I was very, very reluctant. I was reluctant because I didn't have very much income at the time. I wasn't sure about how my insurance worked at the time and I didn't want to get stuck with a big bill I couldn't pay. And on top of that, I was worried about the stigma that goes along with getting mental health, help, help for mental health, which as you guys know, it's okay to reach out for help. It's better to do that than to fight it alone. So a year after I started feeling really bad with the rash and everything, I finally made an appointment and I was sitting in the waiting room just nervous because, you know, this was the first time I ever had insurance on my own and I wasn't sure how it was going to work. So anyway, the nurse called me in and I was just, my anxiety was up 
the roof. When the nurse did come in, I ended up spilling a lot of things about how my rash was, my past, how I wasn't doing well. And she sat down and she really listened. And she let me get all that nervousness out. And before I left her office, she gave me a prescription for my rash, which happened to be eczema. And, of course, she told me that stress can make things worse for it. But it was probably due to, you know, it could, it could have been from a lot of things. But she gave me some cream. And she also gave me a referral for counseling. And she also gave me some tips to get me through the next week or so before my first counseling appointment. Deep breathing, positive self-talk, um, setting goals and reaching them even if they're small exercise, things like that to help me get through until my first appointment. And when I left the office, I felt relief. I was like, I can finally get the help I need and deserve. What were some of the symptoms that you guys felt before you went into therapy? Or are you guys even thinking about getting into therapy? Let me know down in the description below. If you like this content, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!